Hello peeps and welcome back to the channel. Today I have my microphone with me. I'm just gonna try just this a little bit. Just to try and make the sound a little bit better than it has been previously. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I think I've just never been that bothered by all the white noise that's my on my camera. Because I literally just filmed with my Canon camera. So anyway, we have the microphone today. Today's topic is how to write cringe-free Christian books, or just how to how to write cringe-free Christian writing, how to actually write it without it being super cringy, because I feel like there's a lot of lot of uh, cheesy Christian books out there, and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying some people don't want to read cheesy books or cringy books and I don't even want to be judgmental and say that they're cringe it's kind of just makes Christianity sound cringe when it really isn't it's super amazing so thought we'd just have a little discussion about how to write in a way that's not cringy but that is glorifying to God and is Christian first of all what is cringe let's just establish what cringe actually is I'll look up the meaning but like what is cringe and what is our definition of cringe in our minds we just have to differentiate bef between actual cheesiness and just an aversion to god or godly things because i feel like some things were like oh that's cringe and it just is because it's stereotypical it's not portrayed in a unique way some things are actually cringe but i think we need to be careful not to Ugh, what am I trying to say? It's so hard to talk. Is it actually cheesy or is it just an aversion to godly things? So in our hearts is what we're feeling when we're like, mm, cringe. Is that just an aversion to the godly things that are being portrayed in this Christian in Christian writing? Or is it actually just cheesy? If it's just an aversion to godly things, then the writing might be great. It's just, we're like, oh, why is that so holy? Why is that, like, I don't know, our flesh can sometimes feel at, at a little bit in tension with godly things because our flesh is sinful, so, and, um, dark and light don't go together, sin and holiness can't really coincide, so there are times when it might just be an aversion to godly things, but a lot of the time it's cheesy, right? It's just super, super cringe. First of all, just, second of all, I don't even know what to point them on. Why all the stereotypes? Can we just stop with the stereotypes? It's very... I feel like the stereotypes don't help because there's a lot of stereotypes in Christian writing, I feel. Like... And a lot of stereotypes about Christianity that are portrayed in Christian books. But Christianity and our walk with God is not stereotypical. The whole book is just all those typical Christian-y good girl things just feels like the stereotypes just make it feel more cringe. Can we just break out of the stereotypes and write something a bit different? Portray a different side of the Christian life. Portray like the harder part of the Christian life. Portray not just the hallelujahs, but God, why are you doing this to me? Like, let's just write in authentically about God and about the Christian walk. What about like the holier am I? This is another side that I think makes it cringe, is when Christian writing is judgmental of non-Christians, or it's just judgmental of humans in general. Just think it makes it really unattractive and really not... I don't know, it just doesn't portray Jesus in a very good way either, because Jesus doesn't go around his whole, whole time on earth being like, you did that wrong, why are you doing this? You guys shouldn't be doing that. Like, it was true that they shouldn't have been doing those things, but... I feel like coming at it from more from an angle of focusing on Jesus' love and not just trying to pull apart everyone's what, everything bad that people are doing in the world. Like, we're not actually called to judge the world. Like, yeah, we might be called to convict other Christians. I don't feel like the point of my writing is just to call out how, how unholy everyone else is apart from my character in my book, who's perfect. And another point, this drew away from making the Christian characters better than everyone else. It's just unrealistic. 
they are, make mistakes and they do bad things and they are can be bad people. When it's like a book and you have all your characters and they're all just terrible people and there's a one Christian character and they're like way better than everyone else, better at everything, they're just a good person and everyone else is just mean. I feel like that's one, not very really realistic. Two, kind of makes it seem like Christians think everyone else is worse than them, which <laughs> I do not want to portray that with my writing. What if we made our Christian characters struggle, have hardships, sin, overcome things? They're normal people as well and they have struggles and have, they sin and they make mistakes and they have to repent and like, it's part of the Christian walk. So let's just give our characters, Christian characters, some more flaws and not make them so goody goody two shoes. You know characters who don't have any mistakes or any flaws and you're like, I don't like you. <laughs> because it's like annoying because I make mistakes so if I, when I read a book and the character like is just perfect I'm like okay, okay fine. I'm, I don't relate. <laughs> okay another point, not everything spiritual has to happen at church. Let's break out of the box. Let's think alternative, think authentic, think outside of the box. Let's draw a different picture than all the miracles and all the big moments happening at church. What if they had such a big moment when just walking along the street or when they're talking to someone and, they, and something clicked in their mind or what if your character was at a party and there was everyone drinking and people doing things that were not to like Christian <laughs> but it was at that in that situation, in that environment, in your book, that they realised something new about God. Let's break out of the box of the like whole thing that only place spiritual things can happen is at church. Just bringing God into all aspects of your character's life and not just throwing in some church scenes to make it Christian. There's so many cool ways to portray God and let's just grasp the opportunity just show the world that Jesus is everywhere, he's in everything, and he can be in all parts of our life. He's not just someone we meet with on Sunday, and not just a God we praise on Sunday in church, but he is the God that walks with us when we make mistakes, when we go to the wrong place at the wrong time, when we make choices that are bad. Let's just show that through our writing, that God is more than an appointment on Sunday. He is with us everywhere we go and he is like just our best friend and just to portray that. Coming off of that, just who is God to you? And just to show that through your writing. Like for me, through my writing, when I'm trying to include God in my writing, all everything that comes to me personally about God is just the beauty, like the beauty of his world that he's created and I really try and bring that into my story and yeah like the way that I portray God is going to be so different to the way you portray God because I'm a different person. I perceive him differently because I'm a different person. I have a different heart, different soul, different mind, different body and so that's the cool thing. You get to portray God in a beautifully unique way and that's super exciting. So who is God to you? And just to portray that through your book. If God to you is primarily just a big part of who he is to you is he's a father then you could portray that fatherly protective love in your novel your book if he's like your best friend what if you wrote like lots of just cool companiony scenes with jesus in your book just including him everywhere i'm just rambling a little bit but <laughs> stick with me so yeah who's god to you and show that like pinpoint that and just shout through the world to the world through a book who God is to you. So yeah that was all my points, all my notes. I literally have notes. I'm proud of myself. I actually followed the notes. I had notes. I think it's just about coming back to who is God to us and how what is our walk with God? What is our faith? Like what is all those things to us and how to portray that through our writing authentically like just get creative come up with some random ideas of how to put god in your novel you could portray him through your descriptions of nature like just slip in those little details of god in there you could portray him through 
like the thoughts of your character and God talking to them other characters talking to your main character and that's how God like speaks into the book there could be an angel in your book there's so many different genres and the possibilities are endless so it's exciting and yeah hope this video was insightful in some way just thought provoking and can kind of help us to figure out how to write cringe free christian books thank you for joining me on this little sit down chat and i will see you next time have a wonderful day and yeah see you bye